Hi everyone! A little post-Christmas party documentary. I just don't understand what happened last night. Senator Elton was acting completely out of character. Where's the guy in the practice date who got Harriet Icelandic yogurt? Who pulled strings to get her Book of Mormon tickets? There is something wrong here and I will get to the bottom of this. It is time to be direct and go right to the source. Normally, I'd be more subtle, but we don't have much time if this couple's gonna get back on track. Emma, what a delightful surprise. Hi, James. Do you have a second? I was hoping we could talk. Actually, I'm in the neighborhood. Why don't I swing by and we can talk in person? I have some time before I get to the airport. Oh, sure. Great. See you soon. Uh, wow. Is this from the party? No. When I get stressed, I like to reorganize things. Don't tell Alex. He knows too much already. Why are you stressed? Was it something I said? Oh, I went overboard with the flu shots. I was only worried about your health. No, it's not that. It's just... What? Were you worried about anyone else's health? Like Harriet's? The flu is rarely life-threatening in people her age. She'll be fine. That's it? I can give you public health statistics or talk about the importance of vaccinations if you want. A young woman who you've known for almost a full month has the flu and you're worried about public health statistics and vaccination campaigns? Okay, I think I missed a briefing somewhere. Why are you so worried about what I think about Harriet's health? Because you're supposed to be in love. With Harriet? Yes, who else would you be in love with? You. No, you're not. I'm not? I thought I made my intentions very clear. For Harriet. You made your intentions clear for Harriet. You tweeted to all of your followers how much you loved her video. I tweeted that I loved the song, which you wrote. A song with a message that made me certain you wanted me too, by the way. But you're always so nice to her. I'm in politics. I'm professionally nice to people. But you brought her Icelandic yogurt. At the same time, I brought you flowers. One of those is the more traditionally romantic gift. I think we would be very well together. Despite what you think, I believe you would love political life. James, Senator, I am not an option for you. I am your life coach, you are my client. That is a sacred trust. I'm supposed to introduce you to Miss Wright, not be Miss Wright. Harriet was perfect for you. If I were running for student council, not Congress. Emma, I only ever saw Harriet as your friend and employee. I'm sure she's a very good sort of girl, but I move in certain circles, and to be blunt, I need a certain type of partner. That's not Harriet. It's you. Senator- You cannot be blind to how well-matched we are. Look, my career is about to take off, and you would soar with me. Emma, you're brilliant, beautiful. And you would eat muckrakers and opportunists for breakfast. Not to mention my father is incredibly wealthy and socially connected. I won't lie, it doesn't hurt the package. But I could have my pick of the socially mobile. Yet from our first meeting, when you said you would take care of my life, I knew I wanted you. Or at least, I want a chance to make my case to you. Those society girls won't make you happy. I know. That's why I'm not having this conversation with any of them. But I won't make you happy either. Why not? Because... I don't even like celery soda. Who cares? It's a weird drink that makes for a good icebreaker when you have absolutely nothing to talk about. I'm a politician, Emma. I have a thousand anecdotes that I can use for conversation starters. I see. Is that what you were basing this supposed perfect match between me and Harriet on? No! Really? Then what else was there? Go ahead. Convince me that Harriet Smith is my perfect woman. You clearly do not want to be convinced. And you clearly know nothing about matchmaking. You are the one who sought out my services. I didn't come to you. Well, if this is a sample of those services, I think I'm better off without any life coaching. Thank you very much. You didn't strike me as a quitter, Senator. I guess I was wrong. I'm not quitting. You're fired. Alex, what are you doing here? Oh, 
Maddie Bates guilt tripped me into wrapping up our year-end books. She made me feel lazy. I just saw the senator pulling out a lot. What are you doing here? What's happening? Hey, come on. Emma, what's wrong? You're organizing. I failed. <laughs>